Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the effects of alcohol on nervous system. Alcohol acts basically as a CNS depressant. It stimulates the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA and it inhibits the excitatory neurotransmitter NMDA. Also, it has effect on various receptors, opioid, dopamine and serotonin. DSM-5 using the 11 criteria takes into consideration the diagnosis of alcohol use disorder. Previous terminologies, abuse and dependence are clubbed into one terminology. Based on pathogenesis, the effects of alcohol can be classified. First, nutritional, which includes Wernicke's encephalopathy, Korsakoff syndrome, pellagra, vitamin B complex deficiencies. Direct effects like acute alcohol intoxication, Fetal alcohol syndrome consists of low birth weight, mental retardation, face and cardiovascular defects, electrolyte and osmolar changes causing osmotic demyelination or central pontine myelinosis, alcohol withdrawal causing various effects, and other effects of unknown pathogenesis which we are going to see. To make it easy to remember, I have made a mnemonic. Let's start. B is for vitamin B complex deficiencies due to various causes like gastritis, abnormal metabolism, malnutrition, malabsorption, there is deficiency of B-complex vitamins, niacin causing pellagra, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia. Long-term use of alcohol can deplete other B-complex vitamins as well. L is leaves or withdrawal symptoms. This typically occur when a patient consumes sustained alcohol and leaves it. Typically symptoms occur 4 to 48 hours after the last drink. Initial symptoms include tremor, sweating, insomnia and can progress to seizures also called as rum fits. So read E as C here. Alcoholic cerebellar degeneration typically affects the vermis, the Purkinje nuclei and results in gait ataxia, truncal ataxia. Again in a case of long-standing alcohol use. N for neuropathy, alcoholic neuropathy is a mixed type sensory plus motors, paresthesias, pain in the calves and can result in weakness of the ankle and leg muscles. Recovery is usually incomplete again in long standing alcohol use cases. Next is D for delirium tremens. It is the severe form of alcohol withdrawal where there is agitation, confusion, hallucinations, fever, tachycardia, hypertension, lot of electrolyte deficiencies. It should be treated by fluids, electrolyte correction and short acting benzodiazepines like lorazepam. E for effects on eyes, damaging optic nerves, causing amblyopia, slow visual loss. R for road traffic accidents due to acute consumption causing head injuries and damage to the brain. W for Wernicke's encephalopathy, a triad of global confusion, gait ataxia and ophthalmoplasia, typically corrected with thiamine injectable. Again seen in chronic alcoholism, it can be precipitated by sudden IV glucose load without vitamin B1. H for hypoglycemia, alcohol gives empty calories and so there is no intake of food along with it causing hypoglycemia. I for impairment basically the all the acute alcohol effects in coordination, gait imbalance, impairment in memory, dysarthria and difficult to perform complex actions. S for stroke, alcohol itself is a risk factor for various strokes. Also head injury causes subdural hematomas. Repeated attacks of Wernicke's encephalopathy or acute encephalopathy gives rise to defects in memory, retrograde and anti-grade amnesia with confabulations. This is Korsakoff syndrome. E for electrolyte and osmolar changes. Corpus callosum is a white matter connecting two cerebral hemispheres. So in Marchifawa Bignami syndrome, there is degeneration or demyelination in the corpus callosum. It can result in psychomotor, behavioral changes, hemiparesis, speech disturbances, incontinence. The principles of management are common. Some diseases like cerebellar degeneration, neuropathy are usually irreversible. So hope you remember all the terms and thank you for watching the video.